Okay, welcome back. Last time we made our way through the rest of the red section. So we did fine tuning over on Toon TV and got two more red remotes and two silver remotes. In the process, we also unlocked and completed Got. Uh, we also completed I Got the Reruns, which gave us our seventh, counting seventh, uh, whatchamacallit, gold remote. So we have five more of those to get. So there'll be four more bonus stages, I think. I think it's four more bonus stages and one more boss. I think that's how that works. Oh, and also, we have the green gate open, but if we go over here, if in your own Just time game, Meta Res. basically, that's the game's way of saying, hey, this gate will open when you defeat Mecha Res. Mecha Res will be available for us to fight pretty soon, actually, because we need 21 red remotes to turn that TV on. And we currently have 19. But today we have This Old Cave, Honey I Shrunk the Gecko, and Poltergex. But I'm gonna start with the prehistory channel and This right. Old Cave. So off we go. So watch for falling lava, dodge the steam vents, and bounce up the flowers. Doesn't really matter which one I pick, I can do them in any order. So this level is contained to, well, a cave, as you can probably expect. Nice one. Okay, so off we go. Just like in the previous dinosaur themed level, we do have these. Uh, we do start with having to collect these kind of turkey leg chicken things. Uh, we need to collect the meat on the bone. There we go. Also, we got a new enemy type here, which are like unevolved gexes, I suppose. Which is kind of wild. Now, I just have to bounce on up here, bounce on up here, and grab this power-up. This ice power-up will make me invincible, I think. However, if I touch the lava, I will immediately lose it. So, uh, you know, that's kind of a double-edged sword of it. And also, uh, I don't... Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, the game didn't give me my I want up for that. Now, I'm going to intentionally be going the wrong way a couple of times, or like, getting to the end of one section of the level and then just kind of doubling back. And that's because I want to just collect everything that the I can. Between this and Hades is no Alrika. Why were all of those doubled there? I mean, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna complain, but why were they all doubled there? Okay. On the plus side, we are now like halfway through all, all the collection stuff. Okay, so we could vote for Og. Og has his uh, campaign going. Okay, so now our ice power up has run out. But also, if we were just running through the stage, uh, this would be the end of the level. And I don't know why these things appear to have doubled, because I don't think there should have been that many there. Like, I'm no expert, but I feel like there should not have been that many just there. Okay, I'm gonna have to climb back around this wall. Because otherwise I would just be jumping off into the abyss. And personally, if I can avoid it, I would like to- I'd, Personally, if possible, I would like to not just jump off into the abyss. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I make the- but if I bounce, I probably do. Never mind. Let's just uh, cling to that wall and get going. Because all I need to do now is pick up however many of these uh, Brontosaurus. I don't know what they're meant to be. Maybe they're Brachiosaurs? I don't know. I don't know if they're Brontosauruses, Brachiosauruses, or what. I know that they are a, a long necked dinosaur of some description. Also, there is a checkpoint up here. So even though I'm not going to be going this way to the end of the level, uh, game, can I, game, can I please get up here? Has, have I hit an invisible wall or something? What's happening? There we go. Honestly, I, I genuinely feel like I hit an invisible wall there. Also, we have two of the level exits right there. Obviously, we can't just uh, bounce our way up there. So we have 31 things left to collect. So I am actually not going to go this way either. I am going to go further into the cave. 
and burn, apparently. I'm also going to burn. Uh, on the plus side, I do have another power up here. Well, not even a power up. I was fully expecting it to accidentally go flying into that wall, hit the wall, just fall back into the lava and get hurt. Also, uh, yeah, semi-automatic camera is maybe throwing, uh, it's maybe throwing hands with me currently. Also, we have another pterodactyl to kill. Uh, can... Okay, safe. And this is just one of the 40,000 rooms in Aaron's Spelling House. Okay, turn to turn. We got it. Now we just need 30 more. We just need 30 more. What a luxury. 30 more, got no health. On the plus side, I do know that this is roughly where the whatchamacallit is, the silver hidden remote. I think it's in this room somewhere. It might be further up. I mean, there's definitely something up there. However, if the camera wanted to work with me, that would definitely be beneficial to you know, my uh, ability to make progress. Because I can't see. <laughs> so I imagine I must have to go further through here, but never mind, I just fell and died. Okay. Okay. So, now, I go this way, I think. Okay, that fire doesn't quite hit, I reach. So I just hop on down. Uh, that, that pterodactyl just did not want to play any games today, apparently. Okay, okay, if I switch to automatic camera, do, is that any better? Uh, it is a little bit, I think. <laughs> Key term, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I think in some cases it might be, but quite often it just isn't. Either way, if I look up here, the silver remote should just be like at the top of this room, I think. Or somewhere at least close to it. I know it's in this room. I've, at least I'm pretty sure it is. Uh... It must be. It must just be, like, directly above me, I think. So if I... No, I hit the wall there. I hit the wall there. That could have been really bad. So I you just have to wait for this. Hop on. Hop across. Wait here. Hop up. No. Wait. Hop. No. There we go. Game, can I please land on this thing? Fantastic. There we go. So now we just hop across. Hop down. Oh, I messed that up atrociously. However, we can now just hop on up here, and now... There... There it is, but... I, but now I need to, you know, get up there. And I have a feeling that is going to be a lot harder than I would like it to be. I have an awful sneaking suspicion that that's going to be way harder than I would like it to be. So, actually, hang on. If I go to manual camera... Now I just spin it around here. Can I just jump it? Yes, I can. Fantastic. Great. So now we have the hidden silver remote. Okay, so... Now I just uh, run on through here. And that... I need 13 more. Okay, so I need to go find more of these. Okay, so... Uh, now I just need to find these. Because I still know. Oh, hang on, wait, I might be a genius. Hold on. Because now I can go this way and finish off the last challenge. Which would be the. Uh, like, the final one would be getting through the flowers. Like, bounce up the flowers. You cut up However, three. I still need to get enough of these. Whatchamacallit? But I feel like I've picked up basically everything here. Also, apparently this level takes pl Okay, all of those appear to have just fallen into the wall. Honestly, I think I genuinely might have to die once. I'm... Like, that, between... Oh. Okay, that, that was just terrible. That was awful on my part. That was just... I don't have an excuse for that. That was just me being bad at this. Okay, 
So now I just uh, blaze through here once again. And, and hopefully don't die to this pterodactyl. There we go. And it gives me three this time. Don't mind Gex just kind of A posing across. So uh, where we go? I think I need nine more. Yeah, I need nine more. So that is... Okay, you know what? I will... I'll take that. I didn't die. I didn't die and there's an enemy still here? Oh, and a pterodactyl? Okay, I might be able to get these done. Hopefully. Okay, I need two more. As long as this pterodactyl just cooperates with me, I think I'm okay. There we go. Fantastic. So now we have both of the silver. We have both of the silvers from this stage, and now, uh, now I just need to quickly run through the level two more times, and then we are done with this old cave. Fantastic. So that is pretty simple. I mean, I say that it took us eleven minutes. Okay, so now let's uh, quickly head on back in and just tear through this stage a couple more times. But now we get another bonus level up here. Uh, I think that was in... It's I don't Hilltop. know where that one was. Uh, I want to say that was in... I want to say that was in the red area, but I genuinely don't know. That could have been in the last area for all I know. Okay, so I'm just going to try to ignore the enemies if I can. And I'm just going to make a straight shot through the level as fast as I can. It probably helps if I don't mess up twice in like, five seconds, but hey, here we are. It just wouldn't be me playing something if I didn't mess up twice in like five seconds. Also, if the camera would work with me, it just wouldn't be Gax. Okay, so now... Uh, I guess I'm going... I guess I'm going the steam events route. Okay. On the plus side... On the plus side, when you kind of know where you're going, you can get through this level just super fast. I mean, to be fair, you can get through all the levels super fast. They aren't all that big. I mean, I say that... I say that. I already know for a fact I'm going to get lost in pop Gax. I always do. I have every single time I've ever played it. I just have an awful feeling that I will get lost in Poltergax, because that one is kind of a maze in a little bit of a way. There's also a level later that is actually a maze, and I just got dive-bombed by a pterodactyl. And just hop up here. Gax, please just work with me here, buddy. There we go. So now we just, uh, Hop across a couple of times, hop down, hop across, hop up. I am okay just taking a hit there, because there is the end of the level. And with that, we gain another red remote. Fantastic. Great. Okay. So, now we just uh, hop on out, resume play. Gaxzilla vs. Mecha Res is now available, and we just head right back on into the level for the final time. So, let's, uh, let's quickly go and watch for Falling Lava, and we should get through this level in... I'm going to say a minute and a half, two minutes, but now that I've said that, I'm probably going to call upon Hubris, because right, honestly, I'll be real, I, I will be totally honest. Uh, hubris, it it loves happening. It always happens to me. As soon as I display confidence in something, it's like, hey, guess what? That ain't going to plan. So we just jump, bounce onto that flower, just kind of a pose, slide across, and now we just need to dodge the lava, climb up, and then we are at the end of the stage. So up we go. Now it is just one more thing. I don't need to worry about that bonus life there. Well, not bonus life, a little bit of health to be more accurate. Accurate. Vote for Og, apparently. It, it, his campaign is still going strong. But with that, we now just uh, climb along here, up here, climb down off there, and now we just leave the level, and with that, we are done with this old cave. And actually, I think. 
Actually, no, I think one of the secret bonus stages is uh, one of these, but otherwise, we've completed the two main levels in uh, for the Free History Channel. Okay, so, while I'm here, I'm going to quickly go and look for that other bonus level that appeared. Because I don't know where it appeared. Uh, so, I'm quickly going to go investigate that, and then I will be over to go and fight... No, oh, not to go fight Mecha Res. That'll be, uh, that'll probably be in the next episode. Also, 10 out of 10, thank you, camera. Thanks for working with me. I don't think anyone has ever said that playing this game, because honestly, the camera loves to fight with you. Oh, it just appeared right there. Okay. So, I'll be coming back for that in a bit, because next up, we have our next proper level. And I haven't decided which one I'm going to do yet. I'll probably do the Circuit Central one, because I did a Scream TV one a bit more recently. It, so, to, so, I'm going to finish off today's episode by, by doing everything that I can in Honey, I Shrunk the Gecko. Which, obviously, is a reference to Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Which, honestly, is a movie I have no never seen. Cartoon, so, what do we have here? We have Charge to the Top, Find the I.O. Tower, and Charge for Act Steps. Well, the ACT steps. Okay, so with that, in we go to the second Circuit Central stage. I think it's actually the last Circuit Central stage as well. Okay, so. Let's see. www.dork.com Well, that was just, well, that was just uncalled for. Okay, so off we go. Charge to the top. In uh, the first bit of Honey, I Shrunk the Gecko. Also, I'll be totally honest, uh, I have a vague idea in this level as to where the secret remote is. However, uh, navigating is probably going to be a bit of an issue because I am really bad at navigating this. And I do remember, I do remember from the first time I played this, that there is one bit that is just awful for me. So, just like in the first level, there's a bit where I have to go on a kind of platform and just have to tail whip it. Where I'll have to, like, hit it with the tail whip and then just kind of go from there. And I remember struggling with it a lot when I first played this. So, uh, knowing my luck, pro things probably have not changed in that regard. So, uh, hopefully it's not that bad, but I'm prepared for the worst. Okay, so let's power up and jump on here, which will take us up. Now. Okay, that is... Okay, that robot has now come to life. And I have fallen all the way back down, so I'm going to need to power up again. And, and just take this. I can kill the robot, and they'll probably give, like, three or four things for me to pick up, so that's not too bad. Okay. Not gonna lie, these things, despite the fact that they die in like two hits. I mean, to be fair, everything in this game dies in like one or two hits. Like these, like, these robots take yes, as many hits as ninjas did. Uh, this is for all are they, the does it not see me? What's happening? Is it not turned on? Oh well, whatever. Oh, maybe I need to power it up? If I go near it while I'm powered up, will that turn it on? Is that how it works? Or it? Apparently it might have been, okay. Either way, we just kill that, grab those free LEDs, because we do need the LEDs next. Excellent. And now, up we go, and we just go across this little bridge, do a flying kick, just to save a little bit of time. And really now I get to play my favorite fun little mini game, shoot. which is the fun little mini game in the slightest. Uh, it is, once again, just guessing where I need to go. And also, uh, having the camera just abruptly turn an 180 while I'm trying to do platforming. Because, yeah, this game's camera is uh, pretty bad, not gonna lie. On the plus side, I can pick up a decent amount of stuff here. Okay, gravity. That was uncalled for. On the plus side, though, we are making some decent progress. I am fabulous. Okay, so where do we get? Where does this take me now? 
Okay, it looks like another platforming section. I mean, realistically, technically all of this is a platforming section because the game is a platformer, but still. Either way, we can make some more progress throughout here. Hopefully, I don't need to worry about it too much. However, if I fall off, I'm still not in it. If I fall off, I'm still not in danger. I'll just get pushed back, which is still, honestly, a little bit of an annoyance, but it's not that big of a deal. But hey, hopefully we can get through without falling off too many times. Admittedly, the visibility here can be a little bit of an issue. Also, I think... Oh, that is completely a waste of my time. Because I think I can only have one kind of fly around me on top of my max health at once. So ultimately, there is no benefit for me to having to... Well, go in and get in there, because it wouldn't even give me a bonus life. Okay. Well, there's a checkpoint there, so let's hit that real quick. Uh, I, I must have gotten hit by something that I didn't see. And I need to power stuff up again. So, let's power up this robot, and... Honestly, I, I thought that thing was about to go turbo mode or something. I mean, that thing looked like it was going to start flying. Either way, we now pick up... I have no idea what those are meant to be. Uh, someone who is more technologically knowledgeable than me, uh... What are those? Okay, so... I have no idea... Like, okay, so here's the thing. I know that the power... Not the power, but the remote that I'm looking for does require climbing on the walls. However, I don't know exactly where it is. So, like, I know... It, I'll know it when I find it, but I don't know exactly where it is. So this could be a little bit of a problem. Also, I needed a power up for that, so back we go. Back we go. No. Well, that's one way to go. Back we go, I suppose. Um, where was the power up station? I might as well pick up this bonus life just because I can. Uh, okay, there it is. There it, there it is. That's the ticket. Okay, so. Yeah, I'll be totally honest, the Circuit Central levels, there's only two of them, and they are not my favourites. Also, this is not the way I needed to go, but I saw an enemy and kind of just went... <laughs> I saw an enemy and kind of just went, ooh, violence. Which I feel like is not very Gex-like. But either way, I should uh, continue on. So I need to bounce on up here and climb. Okay, now we are back on track. So we grab this power up, and I have to work quickly because obviously it only lasts for a certain amount of time. And I need to platform across and turn on that data bridge. Fantastic. And we also gain three more little power up things there. Okay. Okay, this I remember now. I vaguely remember this area. I do vaguely remember this. Because, obviously, I haven't played this game since I last played through it two years ago, so, uh, I am kind of just going from memory here. Obviously, I do want to kill every enemy that I see, because that drops more stuff for me. Because that'll drop more stuff for me to pick up, and picking up more stuff means I'll have to pick up less stuff to finish for stuff. And how many times did I just use the word stuff in that last sentence? Uh, probably, like, five or six times. Anyway. And now we just, uh take this up. Also, I'm really sorry for how much this level flashes with stuff. Okay, we get that. We now just destroy this kind of mecha spider thing. Okay, I need 11 more. I feel very confident in saying I will get the remaining 8 things I need here. So, now I just climb up and around on this wall, and I believe I can climb in here. Like, I climb in here... Uh, that was not where I wanted to be, I think. Is it? Okay, no. It is where- Okay, it's where I need to be, but it's not where I want to be, I think. Uh, I know that there is another kind of hole in the wall that you can climb through, Ooh, and that's where you need to be to pick up, uh, whatchamacallit. Okay, this is where I came in from. Uh, so yeah, as you can probably tell, this is a bit disorienting. This is a little bit disorienting. Dis disorienting? Disorienting? Anyway, 
Uh, the, the British and the Americans can argue about, about that whenever they, they feel like it. Uh, if I could just see while I'm doing this, this would be so much easier. Can I go... Okay. I can't climb up any higher, but I know that I'm not there yet. Basically, I know that there is a thing. Uh... No, this is where I came in from. Wait, I have an idea, I have an idea, I have an idea. Uh, there we go. I think I maybe needed to go up the other side. That might have been it. Because I think that kind of makes sense. Okay, so. Away we go. So. Oh. Up we go. No, this just led me into another room. Um... Well, if nothing else, there's the stuff I need to pick up the last of the things. I think. Yeah, that's enough to get me the silver remote. But, honestly, I'm looking for the silver remote. That's what I'm currently trying to find. And I'm fairly sure it was in that room that I was just in. But, I guess... I guess it mustn't have been. And I just fell off there. Nope, I didn't. Wow. Okay. Let's just be a bit careful here. I don't know why I need the power up there, but whatever. Is there a power up at the end of here that I need it for? Apparently not. Okay, so. Where am I now? Uh, looks like some form of tower. Okay, so. I have that. I have that as a power up now. I can climb this USB. And I can just boost my way up here. Fantastic. So I don't think this was where I was aiming to be, but I think this is an Okay, it wasn't where I'm aim it wasn't where I was aiming to be, but you know what? It was a level exit. So load. I guess I'll take that. So it could be worse. That was the first objective done, and I still need to find the hidden one. But hey, I will take that. So far, that is not too bad. Okay, so, now, oh, do we get anything else unlocked? Not quite. Okay, so now we just head right back into Honey, I Shrunk the Gecko. Because, well, we still have two more things left to do in Circuit Central. So, away we go. Okay, so now we have to find the IO Tower. I think this was where I was last time, and I just went the, and I think I just went the other way. On the plus side, this time I don't need to worry about collecting everything, so I can just kind of make my way through the level as fast as I can, and hopefully I can find the silver remote on my way there, because to be totally I honest, I know it's in here somewhere. <laughs> that's, the worst ex that's the worst explanation I can think of, just I know it's in here somewhere. Like, I am, a I am aware that it is in this level. It's like, yeah. It's like, yes, me, of course I know it's in the level. I've played the game before. I've finished this game before. Like, I've finished this game to 100% completion before. Okay, so... Now I can hop across here. Is there anywhere I can climb on the ceiling in this room? There is. Is there any, like, holes in the ceiling that I can climb into? Because I know that the secret... Like, I know that the hidden remote is in a kind of place on the ceiling that you can crawl into. However, uh, that could take me a little while to get to, because I have no idea where I'm going, uncurrently. I hope it won't take too long, but I know my luck, so uh, where do you anything could happen. Anything could happen in the bizarre world of Gex, so... Yeah... Hopefully we'll be okay. But yeah, so... I know I mentioned it in... Actually, it was the last time I was doing one of these levels. So I'm getting ahead of myself for when SMT5 Vengeance comes out. Comes out, because, you know, I would quite... Basically, I just want us to be able to sit and play SMT for like a month solid. Because, well, as it turns out... As it turns out, I think Atlas decided that they just wanted to like take my money on like... I think this year, Atlas decided they just want to take my money every few months. Because they dropped P3 Reload. 
but in February. They're dropping, uh, they're dropping SMT5 in June. I think they said Metaphor Refantasio comes out in October, but I'm probably gonna sit and wait on that. I'm probably gonna wait on Refantasio. I'll probably get that. I'll probably get that at Christmas. You know, just to give that a little bit of time to see if it's, you know, see how it's generally received. I mean, realistically, it's realistically it's an Atlas RPG, and historically they tend to not really miss. Like, I know that people seem a bit kind of 50-50 on Soul Hackers. Like, I know that in general, Soul Hackers 2 didn't seem to be particularly well received. But in general, like, in general, it seems like they haven't missed in years. Which, to be fair, I am all for. Now, the real question is, where do I go? Well, the simple answer is, I go this way, because this was where I went last time. And before I doubled back and went to a different path. So... Logic dictates this must be where I need to be. And I might as well just blast that thing because it was in my way. Okay, so now we go now we go ceiling climbing once again. So because I can climb in here. I can climb in here. What happens if I drop? Oh oh that's what happens if I drop. Uh I thought I was somewhere where I could safely land. As it turns out, I was not somewhere where I could safely land. Okay. Yeah. I'll be honest, this one level might be the hardest one in the game for me. Not in terms of actually getting through it, but more so just kind of finding where I'm going. Because I'll be honest, I am not a fan of these levels. It's these levels and the space ones. I've never been a fan of them. Like even when I was even when I was a little kid, I was never a fan of them. But to be fair, I, you know, I can't really think of many games that I've played where it's like, yes, I love every level in this game. Those are, those are games that are very few and far between. Even games where I absolutely adore them. Like, even some of my favorite games ever made have levels or just sections that, I'm, that I get to and it's just like, okay, great. I guess I'm playing this bit now. And some of them... And to be fair, some of them are genuinely just not good bits of a game. And then there's others where it's like, yeah, this is my least favorite bit of the game, but the game is still really solid. Or just across the board. Okay, that should drop me on there, right? Fantastic. Oh, where we go. Hopefully this is where I need to be. Okay. Uh, that's a barrel or something. Uh... Okay, the TV is up there. So this must be the USB bridge thing they mentioned. So this, again, isn't what I was looking for, but it, it isn't what I was looking for, but it is another way through. Why is this going down and along? Uh, was that meant... What was that meant to do? Okay, I guess I'll go the- I'll guess I'll try the- I guess I'll try this way now instead, okay. Let's- let's go, attempt two. Well, that was not what I wanted. I mean, hey, I'm not gonna complain about a bonus life, but it was not what I was aiming for at that exact moment. Okay, so let's hop on up here and this should take me up, right? No, this takes me along. So where's this going? Okay, this is going up. Okay, so I can platform up from here. Do I need to just plat? Do I need to do this multiple times? Oh, hang on, wait. I think I have an idea. Can I jump to it from here? Not by the looks of it. So maybe if I hop up here. Okay. Okay, I know what I'm doing now. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Okay, so I power this up, I hop on this little barrel thing, then I jump up, then I jump up again. Now, I can power this up, and this'll take me across, where I can power up the final thing, and then that should take me to the exit gate. I think. 
Okay, yeah, it'll take me across to the data bridge at least, and then I can use that to power up and get that to the exit gate. Fantastic. Okay, that is red number two acquired from Circuit Central's second stage. Okay, I mean, well, that was actually technically the third one, but whatever. So now we got to play a fun little mini game called I Still Have No Idea How to Get to That Last One. As we head back in for one final run through this level. Okay, find the IO tower. On the plus side, I now know where I was I now know where I made that mistake in finding whatchamacallit. I know where I made the mistake in finding the uh, the hidden remote, so I'm gonna quickly run over there uh, to get that. And when I say quickly, I mean I'm gonna have to do most of the level again. But hey, hopefully hopefully it won't be too bad. I know my luck, it's gonna be awful. But hey, we'll get there. We the will get there, and hopefully within the next five minutes. I say hopefully within the next five minutes. I do not have much confidence in that, but hey, I'm gonna give it a shot. Basically, what I need to do is to get to where I need to be for this progression. I'm pretty sure that is in this room. I think it is... Maybe it's the one further up? Okay, I'll be doing this. I know where I'm going now. No, that's not what I want to do. I now know where I'm going in regards to getting the secret remote. I don't know where I'm going in regards to, like, actually finishing the level. Which is, uh, you know, maybe a bit not ideal because, you know, you kind I kind of need to know where I'm going in order to be able to finish the level. But on the plus side, I now know that I just need to kind of blaze through this section one more time. And before I can grab the, whatchamacallit, the silver uh, hidden remote. But, and then we are good to go. And I'm already, I already have enough to challenge the next boss. And I kind of split my decision, I kind of split my decision there, so Nelly fell off and missed both. But hey, I didn't, so that, so that could have been worse. Okay, so let's grab this checkpoint real quick. So now, there should be two exits to this room, I think. So let's quickly just uh, bounce on up here. Bounce on up here, make my way across. Because now I know where I made... Because I know where I made the mistake and what led to me missing the secret remote last time. And also the time before. So hopefully I can get through without too much hassle. And where I need to be is actually over there as well, I think. So I just kind of accidentally headbutted that wall, but hey, who's counting? Who's paying attention to that? Okay, so let's quickly run on over here. Knock that down. Really didn't need to, but that's fine. Because now I just bounce up to here and, and wall crawl from there. And this is where you get to where you need to be. Camera is not working with me though. But on the plus side, we now crawl up here, and this is where the secret remote was was hidden. Mm. So with that, we can now, well, now when, now as soon as I I get out of this section, I am done with this level. And now the question is, how do I get over there? Can I just jump from there? Honestly, I might be able to just jump it. I'm not going to risk it, though. I'm not going to risk it. I will power up the data bridge and drop down, I suppose. But I think this is where I need to be. However, if the camera wanted to work with me for, like, even a nanosecond in this game, that would be very, very welcome. And I think this is where I need to be. Is it where I need to be? Yes. Yes, it is. Because this is a new room that I haven't been in before. Boys, Tron didn't work well. It's not working twice. So now I gotta play my favorite awful, awful mini game, which is uh, hit the thing and be lucky enough for it to get gravitated into the next one. So I'll be totally honest, I do not know how this works, which is not exactly ideal. And I, I'll be totally honest, I absolutely lucked into that. But now I have to do it, you know, while I'm slightly higher up. 
And also there is a wall there that can and will just has hit me back into it. Oh, hang on, wait. Wait, am I hitting the wall here? Wait, if I'm hitting the wall, I can probably just jump across. No! Oh, oh I was so close. I nearly had that. Honestly, that was very close to working. But yeah, this could take me a little while. This could take me a little while because I don't know how it really works. Like, I don't know what angle I need to be at when I hit this thing to make it just work for me. Like, I don't know if it, or if it's like the point of impact with Gex's tail or what. But hey, if I get close enough, I will get kind of magnetized to it. So that is welcome. So now I can crawl along here. But what's over here? What do I get for being over here? Uh, nothing by the looks of it. But it looked like there was a place where I could safely land. So I think I know what I need to do. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. I see what it is. I I see what it wants me to do and what I am going to be very incapable of doing. So what it wants me to do is uh, bounce myself over to that, then to the third one. Basically, it wants me to combo three of these together. Go on. Unless I just nail it like that first try. Okay. Okay, I'll take that. I will happily take that. That's a great result for me. And now I have to do it again. But now... But now if I fall, I fall all the way back down. So basically, this is now... Okay. It's like... This is now basically... Okay. Now you have to do it perfectly. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'll just make a cut to when I'm back there, because that could take ages. Okay, so I've made it back up here, and honestly, I've just safe stated in case I mess it up again. Because to be totally honest, it took me about another 10 minutes just to get back here, and I managed that first try, because I don't even know. Anyway, we are now at the final section, so now... Uh, I think I just need to reach the top of this room, and then we are good to go. Okay, it's just... it's another one of these things. Okay, so I have to go all the way around the room. Take that, you can. So, maybe I'll get super lucky. That is actually really nice. And I just need to get across to the next one. If I get across to the next one, I am in the clear. Nearly. Very close. Boy. But I don't know exactly when I'm supposed to hit this thing. Okay, I should hit that wall at least. No. To be honest, I thought I'd hit... I don't know why I thought I would hit that wall and it would just bounce me off towards where I need to be. But, yeah, evidently the game does not... <laughs> Apparently, uh, my line of thinking and the game's line of thinking are two very, very different things. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't know the exact timing for this, so I'm kind of totally lost as to how I'm supposed to do this. Fortunately, there is never a time in this game when I'm, uh, when you are required to do anything like this under any form of time pressure, which is great because if I had to do this under time pressure, I think I would snap because I genuinely... Like, as you can probably tell, I don't know how to do this without any time pressure. So when, so if I was given a, a level of, uh, so if I was given a degree of time pressure for it, I genuinely think I would probably just quit. Okay, that should do it. That should do it. That should do it. Now I just hop across, and with that we are done with Honey I Shrunk the Gecko. Ten out of ten. Aside from one, uh, aside from what, the, aside from a bonus stage, we are also now done with Circuit Central. Which is fantastic news for me, because I do not like those levels very much. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is update my save and end off today's episode here. And do we unlock another bonus stage? I don't think we do. But we'll find out in just a second. No, we do not. Okay, so I'm going to end off today's episode here. Next time we'll be finishing off the green zone with Poltergax and... Uh, and then finally going into the boss fight and doing Gekzilla versus Mecha Rares. 
So I'm going to end off today's episode here. As always, feel free to leave a comment and click any of the buttons down below if you feel so inclined. And I will hopefully see you all next time for more Gex and other Gecko. Okay, thanks for watching. Later.